Hello, hello, hello. If you've never seen me before, I'm CoinRingMaker from CoinRingMaker.com. I make coins like this into rings like this. And today, we're going to be working on a 1974 quarter. We're going to make this into a size 13 ring, which is as big as I can make quarter coin rings. So it's going to be quite a bit of a challenge. I'm going to wait just a little bit for a couple more people to roll in here. And while we wait, I'm going to tell you guys about the uh, October clearance sale going on at coinringmaker.com. ton of stuff is 50% off. It's the biggest sale I've ever done on the most stuff. Like I said, it's 50% off. So if you want to check that out, there's a link down here you can tap on. Uh, you can also go to the link on my profile. Okay, and so let's go ahead and get started on this. Like I said, we're going to make this into a size 13. And the first thing we've got to do is punch a hole in it. So we're going to use this tool right here. It's really cool. It auto-centers the coin. So as we tighten it down, this kind of cone shape is going to move this coin right to the middle. Doing good, doing good. How's everybody doing today? If y'all wouldn't mind just tapping the screen for me. Currently have zero likes on this live. Be pretty cool if we could get a couple. Yeah. All right, so we got that nice and centered in there. Now we just need to find our half inch punch. And we're just gonna hammer that on through. Uh, some of them are. Say, uh, my rings usually range from about $25 up to uh, around $300, depending on the coin that I use. Uh, but right now, a bunch of the stuff is 50% off. So if you want to save some money, like, a, let's see here, like, like a $100 ring would be $50 right now. So check that out. Link's on my profile. Or you can tap this gold chain down here. And we're going to hammer this on through. And that sale is all month long, so if you don't have your ring size or you need to save up a little bit, you can always come back. You don't see any $25 rings. Those are going to be under copper clad. That's what I'm actually working on right now. This is a copper clad quarter from 1974. Uh, the main difference between this and the $100 quarter coin rings is the type of metal they're made out of. So this is mostly copper. So it can turn your fingers green. I do recommend putting uh, clear fingernail polish on it. That helps uh, reduce that effect. But if you're really worried about having green finger from a ring, I suggest something like this. Uh, this is a 90% silver uh, Walking Liberty half dollar. And you won't get any kind of green finger from it. So that's the main difference. All right. So now we're going to take our... Freshly punched quarter, and we're going to clean up the cut edge. You see right here, it's kind of sharp and rough. So we're going to take a deburring tool and just clean that up. This is kind of a slow boring part. So if you want to go check out the website, now's a good time to do it. Like I said, it's linked on my profile, or you can tap the gold chain down here. Uh, if you just want to hang out and watch me clean this up, uh, please tap the screen. We almost got 700 likes. Very nice. I use a deburring tool to clean up the inside of my coins to get them nice and smooth. Now, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. And again, a bunch of stuff is 50% off all October long. So if you want to take advantage of that sale, uh, buycoinrings.com is my shop website. And that's linked on my TikTok profile, so it's pretty easy to get to there's also a cool little chain by the chat that you can tap on. That'll pull up some of my products as well. So you can shop right here in TikTok. Uh, the ring I have on, this one is 150 All the 90% silver half dollars. I've got Kennedy, uh, Franklin, and Walking Liberty. They're all 150 But some of those may be uh, half off right now. So 
see if I missed anything. Somebody said hi. Hello. Now we got that nice and smooth. Let me go give it a fold. Over here. Uh, the tool we're going to be using next is a one ton arbor press. I'm just going to prop my phone up a little bit. Thing's called a doming block. I'm just gonna pop our quarter in here and put a ball bearing on top. And then just give that a nice, nice fold. Uh, if you want a wider band, so as the uh, the coins, the initial coin that I use uh, gets bigger, the band gets thicker. So that's a Walking Liberty half dollar. This right here is a quarter. So you can see that's pretty close to uh, double in size. And then this is a piece dollar. So that's even thicker. So you could get like a Morgan or a piece dollar and I also have one ounce rounds, which are the thickest bands I make. Let me grab one of those real quick. So that's an example of a one ounce fine silver round. It's, it's much, much thicker than the quarter band. So just based on the, the size of the band you want, uh, just go up in the size of the, size of the coin, I suppose. Why, thank you. A uh, bunch of stuff is 50% off all October long. Uh, shop link is on my profile or you can tap the gold chain uh, down here. Let me grab some other stuff so we can keep cranking on here. Give this another fold. This is called a reduction die. This one is 17 degrees, and we're just going to place our quarter in there and get a 17 degree cone and just push that in there. Just like that. Oh, I really like the piece dollar. Yeah, that's a that's a good choice. How well do these sell at that price? Uh, it's not a bad price. Just curious. I don't know. Uh, they've been a little slow this month, but I've definitely had very very busy months um, with the same pricing. And I think it's fair, like with the tooling cost and the labor and the knowledge and. <laughs> inventorying so many coins uh that's pretty much what i have to have to charge to make a profit i also have to pay taxes too yeah uh, i currently making a quarter into a ring yeah if you want me to uh work on your coin there's a button on my profile here on tiktok you can get there by tapping this. And it says, get a quote. Uh, just tell me about the coin you want me to work on and the ring size you need, and I can get back to you pretty quickly. Spoon and a drill. I've never used a spoon. Everybody always says, use a spoon. I've never used a spoon. Used a bunch of different tools. Never a spoon. <laughs> old sloop no I knew what you meant old school uh, these uh, Washington quarters tend to get a little bit of a wobble in them so what I'm going to do is just, just flatten that out real quick before we go any further now's a good time to do that and then 
I'm going to sand this cut edge just a little bit more because I can see some kind of crack coming up there. And again, a bunch of stuff is 50% off on my website, which is linked on my profile. Uh, you can get a coin made into a ring and save some money while you're at it all October long. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. I'm going to get out a new file for this. That other one's pretty well used up. There's a, <laughs> there's a big. It's looking much better. I've seen cut coins where they cut the background and leave them as art. Oh yeah. Cut coins are pretty cool. Uh, hobo coins are pretty neat too. Like engraved coins. I actually just got one. Let me show you. This is made by uh, Navarro. Christopher Navarro, <laughs> Navarro from Navarro Coin Rings. He made me this. How freaking rad is that? I really dig it. I make those pretty easily. I highly recommend if you're into profit. Yeah, I've, I've thought about it. I need to get some tools for it. But it's definitely something I'd like to try. There it is. I've done a little bit of like hand cut coins, but they take a lot of time. And I mean, I enjoy it, but my wife doesn't particularly enjoy the noise of it. They saw in for an hour and a half on a penny. Can get pretty annoying, I suppose. So this is a process called annealing. What I'm doing here is heating up this uh, metal. It's gonna soften it up, make it less brittle, and it's gonna make it easier to stretch out. So we gotta get this all the way up to a size 13. That's quite a bit of stretching. Oh yeah, the blades are super tiny. We're gonna hop over here to the ring stretcher and anybody got any guesses what this is used for? Stretching rings. So that's what we're gonna do. See if we can get a better, <coughs> a better look at it. I'll raise this up a bit. You shouldn't put rings on your thumb. Why not? I've worn this on my thumb for like 20 years. When in doubt, stretch it out. So we've done a decent amount of stretch in here. And I can feel it work hardening again. So we're gonna go flatten it real quick. Cause again, these like to get a little wobble in them. So I like to stay on top of that. So it doesn't get too out of hand. Interesting. Well, tell me what it means. Educate me. Let me know. What what does it mean? Yeah, this ring stretcher is handy, man.
What do you mean? <laughs> Don't do a thing. Why? You wouldn't understand. <laughs> No, I sleep good, man. I love sleeping. I'm a dreamer. It's like my favorite activity. Passing out. Go back over here, stretch it some more. FYI, this, uh, this ring stretcher should be mounted to something more stable than just like a piece of wood. I need to reattach it to my desk. I have it set up like this because I took it to a craft fair. Yeah, so <laughs> that's why it's like hopping around. It shouldn't be on there. Bad example. All right, there we go. We're just under a size 13. So I'm gonna go ahead and anneal this again and then give it the final stretches. And again, a bunch of stuff is 50% off all October long. Having an October clearance sale. So if you'd like to get yourself a coin ring, the link is on my profile, or you can tap the gold chain down by the chat, and that'll pull up some products. You can also shop right through my profile. There's a little shopping bag there you can tap on, which I think is pretty cool, but I don't think a lot of people use it because they don't know what it is. But lots of ways to shop with Coin Ring Maker. And uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask if you're enjoying the live so far. Make sure to tap the screen. Come on now, there we go. I don't know, man. Let's see here. So we got it at a size 14, which is good. I like to stretch one size over the target size because uh, at this point it's kind of cone shaped. So what we're going to do now is make the band uh, much more even and flat. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm not quite to full time yet. But... It's definitely become a, uh, a part-time gig for sure. It's pretty close to a size 13. I gotta reduce it just a smidge. size in. See, now it's too small. <laughs> and 
There we go. Nice size 13. Whoops. So I gotta fix this. This just fell apart. So give me just a second. It's my little camera stand. All right, let's just be nice to each other. We don't need to call names or nothing, man. So here is our ring so far, and it's got a bunch of this black stuff on it. That's called fire scale. So the next step is uh, gonna be removing that. <coughs> I start with a really fine steel wool. So this is like uh, four zero steel wool. So it's it's rough enough to remove some of this but it's not going to scratch up the metal, which is good. So I'm really just wanting to remove the, the very surface layer, the easy to remove fire scale, and then we'll come in with a, a polish that will eat off the rest of that. Got to make sure to get the inside and the outside nice and cleaned up. Give you a good look at it. Good looking ring. Not too bad. So the next step, I take this Mother's uh, Automotive Polish. This works really well at removing fire scale. And the rest of that black stuff really wants to stay on there. And this is the best thing I've found to get it off. What I do is just coat this inside and out. And then just let it sit on there. So it does a lot of the work for you. I want to make sure we got it all the way in, all the way out. Totally covered in Mother's Polish. Now, if anybody has any questions while we get this cleaned up, feel free to put them in the chat. So now we just got to let this sit here for about a minute. So, while we wait, y'all go check out the website. It's linked on my profile. Bunch of stuff is 50% off. And uh, if you haven't yet, give me a follow. Bam. That's something that was
All right, so that's been sitting on here for about a minute. And we're just going to rub it off. And that fire scale should just come onto the rag like that. Get all that blackness off of there. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, if you want me to work on a ring you have, or a coin you have, uh, there's a button on my profile that says get a quote. Uh, just tell me about the coin you want me to work on and the ring size you need, and I can get back to you and get that, get that going. I'd be happy to. For anybody who's just joining in, I'm Coin Ring Maker. Make coins into rings. Currently working on a 1974 quarter. And there's a bunch of stuff 50% off at coinringmaker.com right now. Let's go check that out. Look at all that black we got off of there. Still a little bit left though. there we go thank you guys for watching and uh if you want to see more coin rings made in the future make sure to hit that follow button hope you all have a great day and i'll catch you next time peace